So on this video we're just going to run through the process of starting a capture in sports code and importing the information that you're going to code using your coda which is on your iPad. So we're just looking at the equipment we need for this. Initially to start the capture we need our camera, we need our AV cable which connects into our camera. The AV cable then connects to our Canopus box which is just here and then we connect our Canopus box to our computer via this firewire lead which connects in here to our firewire to thunderbolt connection. Okay, so first step we're going to just connect our AV cable to the camera so what we're doing here and this particular one which I'm using a Panasonic V750 my little AV connection is here some cameras may be slightly different but the end result is we're going to be coming out to these phono connections which are just your yellow, red and white yellow carrying your video. So I'm going to connect here to my AV connection on the camera I'm then going to connect into the Canopus box so it's the ADVC55 this particular model which most people use and I can see here I've got color coded connections so I'm going to just put yellow to yellow yellow being the most important as that brings in your video and then we've got our left and right audio which are the, the red and white cables that I'm now connecting here. On the other side of the cable on the other side of the Canopus box is the output so that covers their inputs from the camera over here we have the outputs so we connect to that via a firewire cable okay so this is an old six pin firewire cable that we still use and I'm going to connect in here okay so once I've got that done I'm going to bring the other end of my firewire cable which is the 800 side and I'm going to connect it to this guy which is the firewire to Thunderbolt connector okay so that just pops on there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Thunderbolt connection on the side of my machine always with the icon facing up so the little icon lightning icon facing up the way so first up of the process is we're going to open up Coda on the machine so I come up here my code icon is up here you can see it's kind of a green one click on Coda and it opens up first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Coda and open up my command center. Now the most important part of the whole process is we have to ensure that our iPad and that our machine are on the same network. So if you're using an Airport Extreme, you'll be looking for your Airport Extreme up here in my list of networks. So my one is Avenir Sports Wi-Fi Network. And the next thing I'm going to do on my iPad is go over to my settings. So I go to my cog wheel here into my Wi-Fi settings and I ensure that I'm on the exact same Wi-Fi network that we can see here that I am. So next I'm going to open up Coda, iCoda on the coding device go here to test Coda and in my list of devices in my command center I should see my iPad present and in this case I can see Simon's iPad here. So the next step is I need to ensure that I've got my Coda Sessions folder on my desktop so I've got it over here as you can see and then I go in the command center to the server and I ensure that the server is on. Okay, So if your status is at off you just grab the slider here and pull it to on and I can see that the destination root folder here is my desktop and it's going to the Coda Sessions folder. So any information that we start to code on our iPads will find its destination here in my Coda Sessions folder. So that's me set up for the minute on Coda. So my next step is I now go to Sports Code and up along the top I'm going to go to Capture and Open Capture Window. The input devices here, it's, it might be on your FaceTime camera but what we're looking to ensure that we're on is the ADVC55. Okay, At the minute I'm just shooting onto the desk but I'm now going to go up here and start a capture. So I'm going to click here on Capture and I'm going to name it. So we're going to just call this Coda Test and we're going to save it out to our desktop. So once I see that I've started a capture, you can see I've got my live input window and I've got my lag window here that we've talked to you about before. Okay, so next step is we're now going to go back to our iPads. So our next step is once we've started our capture, we're going to start our Coda session on the iPad. So what we're going to do is we'll open up our template. In this case, I'm just using a test template and I'm going to come down here to the bottom right to where it says online coding. So I click here on online coding and in the servers list, as long as I'm on the same network, I'm going to see Simon's MacBook Pro as the server. So I click in here and it's asked me to name a new session. So I'm going to click on a new session here and we're just going to call this one Coda Test. 
and I'm going to hit done. So what I can do now is I can come back and I can hit start. And I can see that my code of session has started down at the bottom because I get a timer that runs along. So once we've started the capture on Coda on the iPad, we can now import it into our sports code timeline. So to do that, we're going to go up here to File, we go to Import, and we're saying Set Folder for Live XML Import. Okay, so as we said at the start, it's very important to have your root folder on your desktop. So my root folder here is the Coda Sessions folder, and I'm going to import my Coda Test. So I go to the root folder, go to Coda Test, and I hit Choose. Now down here we can see straight away the one little bit of coding that I've done has appeared on the timeline. If I do a second part, so I'm now going to say number three, action one, turn them off, and give it about six to seven seconds, and it will appear on your timeline as it's done down here. Okay, so if we turn on our instance notes and we hit OK, we're able to go in and see that that's a little bit of coding that we've done, number three, and action one. So at the end of your game, when you want to finish your capture, what you're doing on your capture window, I'm just capturing black here at the moment, is I come up here to stop, and that will complete my capture, leaving you with just one window at the end. So your very last step will be to stop the captures on your iPads. So on the bottom left of your iPad, you'll be hitting stop. It'll ask you to name the folder, or to name the file, which you can do, and in your case, you'll be naming it on two iPads. So just a recap on the steps that are involved and important from the iPad onto the machine using Coda. So firstly, you want to ensure that your machine, your iPads are on the same network. The main reason for this not working would be that they aren't on the same network. So as we did early in the video, you ensure that your machine and that both your iPads or whatever amount of iPads you're using are on the same network. You then turn on Coda on the machine. From there, you turn on, on iCoda on the iPads and then you ensure that you can see the iPads in the devices. So you open up Coda, you go to your command center by clicking on Coda in the top left from the drop down, ensuring that you hit command center. You should see along the left hand pane in devices, both iPads. You ensure then that the root folder is on your desktop. So you'll have a Coda sessions folder on your desktop and just ensure that you're there and turn on the server in the command center. Okay, so then you start your capture on sports code and from there, in sports code, you choose to import and you set the directory for auto XML import. As soon as you've done that, you should start to see your coding appear on your sports code timeline. So the main things you need to be um, aware of is that you start everything from cold so that you shut down your machine, start it from cold on the day and do the same with your iPads. Everything should be okay and if you have any issues, you can contact us at Avenir.